So in the book, you highlight the difference between change and progress. Is this really just a question of semantics, or is there more to it than that? Well, it is semantic, uh, but uh, there's more to it than that. In fact, there are several distinctions that we make uh, around leadership communication. Change and progress is only one. But to take that one as an example, uh, every psychologist that's studied change has some kind of book about it, and that's because people hate it. And in fact, all of the research indicates that people hate change. It's very difficult to get through. If uh, you look at the ancient uh, anthropological evidence, uh, change was uh, called initiation. And there were rituals around it to make sure that people got through it. Uh, and there were uh, many times brutal rituals where the body was hurt and scarred and other kinds of things happened before change could actually occur. So there's not a great uh, love in the human family for change. The status quo is much more attractive and much safer. On the other hand, when we know that there's a future in our imagination that looks better than the present that we have, then we're willing to take that risk and cross that bridge. Uh, it's up to the leader then to define the difference between change and progress by describing and by painting a picture of what it is that we're trying to do that's meaningful. Generally that's done through the values of the human family. Uh, it is far more about the values of the human family than it is about uh, another 2% of profit uh, or a car or a bonus. And once that kind of communication comes through, then the change that before seemed to be disruptive now seems like progress, and it seems like something we want to do. We want to move toward that as opposed to stay where we are. So that's, that's a distinction. That's a real distinction.